Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I am the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button to become a part of our SAS family here on YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I create this Crackle Sunflower Tumbler. This is an old popular design that I've been creating for a while now. If you look back to my old videos, I show you guys another variation of how I created this one using HTV for a quote. So in today's video, I'm basically going to be taking you through the full design of this style cup. If you guys are excited to see how I created this crackle sunflower tumbler, then come on, let's go ahead and get started.
So for today's um, video, I'm actually trying something a little bit different. I'm going to be printing out my sunflower images on this clear vinyl sticker paper. I purchased this um, on Amazon. I will have a link down below as well. I usually, like I said, I print out my sunflower images on clear water slide. However, I hate having to like seal them. I'm not even sure if I have to seal these. I'm hoping it works out um, and don't totally mess up and end up having to print on water slide anyway. So we're gonna try this out together. I'll let you know how I like it along the way. And yeah, I'm excited to try it out though. So obviously you guys are gonna see whether it works or not and I'll keep you guys posted. So I just printed the image on my regular HP printer and I have to say that I really like how it printed Look at that shine. The quality looks really, really good. I mean, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Obviously, I put my printer on best quality um, and glossy photo paper. So far, so good. I'm impressed. Let's see how these go on to the tumbler. All right, guys, so this is what the tumbler looks like now that it is fully cured. Nice and hard, nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, I just love these crackle tumblers. They always come out so, so nice. So usually with these um, crackle tumblers that I create, um, there's usually a quote on here or some sort of name, and then I place the sunflowers around the quote so I usually put like you're my sunshine or something like that is usually my standard quote that I put on here um anyways this particular customer requested that I do not add any words or anything just the crackle tumbler with the sunflower so um, I'm excited to see how it all pulls together I really love so far the quality of this paper and how it has printed the good thing is that it is um, solvent resistant so we do not need to um, seal this with anything and hopefully it applies onto the tumbler easily and when we apply the resin we don't have any issues so first thing I'm going to do is cut the black border off All right, so we got the sunflowers cut out. You can see I cut out a couple of sunflowers over here. Um, and now we have to apply them to the tumbler. So like I said before, this customer um, requested that we don't put any words um, on her tumbler. So I'm going to kind of position them a little bit differently than I normally would. What I'm gonna do is, um, apply this one sunflower here to the front and like I said these are printable vinyl but it's clear so I'm going to just peel it up with my fingers okay this is my first experience with printable vinyl so I'm hoping that it works out as well um, as I'm hoping it does And then I'm going to center it and like I would any other 
vinyl, I'm gonna just spread it out with my fingers from the center out. <laughs> All right guys, so you just finished watching the full tutorial on this beauty right here. And while I am so happy with how she turned out, I did want to talk to you guys about the new vinyl sheets that I were using for the images on this paper. I told you guys I would sit down and kind of give you my thoughts on what I liked and didn't like about the clear vinyl paper versus water slide. So I just want to briefly say that I love how the images printed out on the uh, on the clear vinyl. You guys saw that I said right away. I loved how clear and crisp the images were on the printable clear vinyl. But one of the downsides I felt personally to using the clear vinyl was that the paper was super, super thick. I also mentioned it in the video in a little um, pop-up that I did think that the vinyl was really thick. And because of that and the style of my design, it did make it a little bit harder to get the vinyl to stick onto the tumbler. I felt that there was a lot of pieces on the vinyl that started to lift up. Um, when I was applying the resin. So I did end up having to sand a lot around the rim. You can see that I did a bunch of patching down at the bottom here with some acrylic paint. Um, and I felt like um, in comparison to doing the tumblers, these type of tumblers with clear water slide, I didn't need to use as many coats of resin as I had to do using the clear printable vinyl. So if you were wondering what the difference is between the clear printable vinyl and the water slide, those are just one of the main differences in my opinion um, on using those two. The price point was pretty similar. I'm going to insert a little comparison over here because right now I can't think of it at the top of my head, but I'll insert a little text here for you telling you guys what the price difference was 
between the clear principal vinyl and the water slide that I use. I will also have a link in the description down below of those two papers that I use. I mean overall I'm really happy with how it turned out. However, I think the clear water slide is a lot easier to work with, a lot easier to apply onto the tumbler as far as getting it to stay flat. Um, but yeah, that's it. I mean, I really like it, but would I use the clear principal vinyl for this type of design? Again, probably not, but I definitely will be using the clear principal vinyl for other designs, maybe something a little bit simpler and not rounded. So that is my thoughts on that and hopefully you guys can check it out and try it out for yourself and let me know what you think on today's tutorial. So if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed watching me create this, this tumbler, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted every time we upload a brand new video. Until next time, bye guys.